this last Saturday, Dan and I ventured to Kent Park to take a walk. We looked online that there was a path about four miles and we felt like we could comfortably do that in a morning. So we put on our sunscreen and our bug spray, we grabbed water bottles, and we went for a walk. There were several points along our path that there was either a chain across it or the path kind of dead ended and we had to pull the map out and reorient. A few chains we stepped over. Um, one time we crossed the road and we're certain this was the path. There was even a sign that looked like hikers were that way. So we were following along and the path um, was uneven. Kind of went back and forth and go around lakes or across a bridge or um, kind of back into some trees. But at this one particular junction, Dan stopped and I nearly ran into him because suddenly where the path felt like it should turn, it was chest or neck deep weeds, probably chest deep on Dan, neck deep on me. And as much as I wanted to venture into the wildflowers and next to the lake, um, the fear of ticks <laughs> and no clear discernible path stopped us. And so we turned around and we ventured back and we ended up back on a paved trail. Not nearly the four miles we had hoped to get in, but a nice stroll, walk, time in nature and time together. That walk should have um, been a beacon of light for what this week would look like. So many times this week already, I have started something that seemed like it was gonna be a straight path. It was gonna be smooth, this was just a check-in, this was a follow-up, this was, we were on the cusp of starting something big. And several times this week, that has been untrue. In one meeting, we have to circle back to nearly the beginning to start a new thing. In another meeting, things we thought we had worked out weren't. And so we have to kind of loop-de-loop -loop back to that. Another situation, I am in the weeds, up over my head, unsure, unable at this moment to figure out the correct path forward. All of that to say, the proverb the Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six tells us that if we trust in the Lord with all our heart and don't rely on our own understanding, that God will make our path straight. And I believe that. I know that to be true. I can, with hindsight, look back and see that and how God has worked that way. But right now, in the weeds and loop-de-looping and backwards, it feels hard to see God's straight path. So if you too are in the weeds as school starts, as we send our kids off to college for the first time, well, youth group members, I call them my kids, or lingering vacations or preparing for fall sports or whatever, nursing home, hospital stays, doctor's appointments, all of the things that we get lost in, know you're not alone. Know that the path, no matter where it takes you or how deep into the weeds you go or how many backtracks and loop-de-loops you have to do, God surely is with you. So continue to trust, continue to love, continue to follow, and continue to be amazed, even if it is a little detour in the weeds, <laughs> at how our God knows what we need, know, knows what we need, provides for us, and leads us through the weeds into a place that we can look back and see how despite our own feelings of being lost and alone, God was with us and God led us to an amazing place.